Hi there guys and welcome back to some more rebuilding the Detroit Lions. We are of course 11-0 after episode 7 and uh, yeah, the team is looking good offensively and defensively. We've been blowing teams out, struggled a little bit against the Giants but we did come through that. Speaking of the Giants game, we had Julian Aquara go off with four sacks and he is the NFC Defensive Player of the Week. So that's nice to see. We've got a player meeting because it's a short week due to it being um, Thanksgiving. And then we also have a press conference as well. Obviously we have a short week this week so not much time to create an elaborate game plan. With that being the case I want to stress how important it is that we play fundamentally sound football this week. Exactly and we're better than that. Stress, stress to the team that it's imperative that we take care of the ball and be the team capitalising off mistakes rather than being the ones making them. Beat the Bills and commit one or fewer turnovers. Seems easy enough. Press conference, my time to shine. Discuss being without one of your top players. What? Who's out? Coach, in a surprise turn of events, Trey Flowers has been ruled out for the for this week's game. How much does that imp impact your defence? It's always going to be tough, but we have a 53 players, uh, a roster of 50 players uh, for a reason, and we have high hopes that Julian Aquara can fill those boots. Combine three sacks or tackles for a loss against the Bills. He got that in the last game. Let's get into the first game. We'll do the normal. Start on the ground. Good block. Ragnar with a great block there. 78, absolutely killing the guy. Third and five. There's Bryant. I completely was looking the opposite way to that. I pressed the wrong button. But we'll take it. 23 yards on the first pass play of the game. Swift up the middle, gets another eight. There's Gilby open for, with the catch and the touchdown. There we go. If we can get them to punt on their first drive, that would be good. Three and out will keep them demoralized slightly as well. There we go. What a catch! Gilby goes deep. I just threw it up, and that's a one-play touchdown. Okay. Can the defense hold up again? Oh dear! I saw what we wanted. Oh no! Not to Sean Hand. That's not who we want out. Is that literally our best player on defense? There we go, Franklin lays out Davis. Start back on the ground with Swift and hopefully... Oh, that's a big hole up the middle as well. Lovely. Nine yards. And back to the back to the run. And there we go. Massive hole again. Eight yards. I'd love to see it. Okay, back to Swift. Big hole again. Let's try to bounce it outside to see whether we could get a big play again but we haven't had them that's the one thing we haven't had is like a really long run no shit that's not what I wanted and Panay Sewell injured now what is this it's a poor read for me I should have should have thrown the ball away I was just trying to force it into Hilton How have we ended up allowing him that run? And Uzurike gets there, that's what we need. We need players to step up now. Oof. Good whack from Collins. Alright. If we can limit him to a field goal, that would be ideal. A good tackle from Walker. 14-3 after the poor, poor interception that I threw. Okay, come out, complete. We'll try and complete some uh, some passes to get some confidence back after the interception. There we go. Gilby gets the catch. Swift is gonna. Well, he did get a block, but didn't quite keep hold of it. Okay. Swift gets outside, cuts past the guy, 
gets the first down. Could have been a touchdown, but 13 yards on that run. Give it back to Swift. Massive hole up the middle again. Gets to the 16. 15 for 99 in this first half. Bryant gets the catch down to the six. Another 10 yards through the air. Okay. Brown gets in for the touchdown. Looks like cover two man. That's a duck, but Gilby might get it. No! That's a joke. I was right there. How has he got the interception? And uh, my guy not come down with the catch. All right, go back to our favourite play. In the hopes that we can, well, they've gone to, they blitzed and get Swift over the middle. If we can get a field goal out of this drive, that'd be good. Is that holding or is that going to be stuff in the passer? Good. Give it to Swift and he will get... Doesn't get there. Okay. From basically the goal line. Yes, we can. There we go, we finally get a sack. Is that Romeo Aquara? Julian Aquara is there. We need him to get there. Nope. 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 Fuck. Nope. That was terrible. Oof. Good hit from Walker. There we go. The two Aquara brothers get there. Okay, Swift will run it up the middle. Again, that's him over 100 yards now. 16 for 106. Second and three. It's Gilby with another catch. Another first down. Yeah, Swift up the middle. Almost breaks the tackle of uh, Jordan Poyer. Okay. What a catch from Gilby. That's his third of the game. He had a deep, he had a, a linebacker on him. I knew immediately then that was a uh, that was going to be a mismatch. Uh, the ball placement was perfect right in that corner. There we go. On play action, Allen. Going deep for Diggs. Good swat away as well. Oh, Warrior. Batting it right down, and Allen's been poor. But I'm glad that the, the booth reviews have been good for us today. Ooh, just gave me a play. Okay. Swift. Just digging his way through. He's up to nearly 150 yards now. Swift again. Up the middle. There we go. Swift up the middle again. That's inside the 10 yard line. He deserves a touchdown today. We're going to try and run it straight up the middle with Swift. If we don't get it, then you know what's coming. Swift's in. There we go. Surprised it wasn't a screen, to be fair. Oh, what a fucking hit! Who was that? Franklin forcing that fumble. That ball, that ball went flying. It's Gilby with the catch. <laughs> Almost had a fourth touchdown. Oh, that's... That's disgusting. We flipped the side and nobody was out there. Swift goes in for his second touchdown of the game. 
Big word. I like it, man. Because you're exactly nope. right. Nope. All game long. Harris makes the tackle, but another screen. I've really got to watch those. First down, and they're going to throw with Allen. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. Shit. Omuzurike is fast, my friend, big man. Shit. Okay, well, they finally got some yards with, um, into our red zone again. And it's two minutes before the end of the game. Oh, good hit. Oh, they get the touchdown. Uh, Swift, I think he got those 13, didn't he? Oh, he needs two yards. That's all we want. As Gilby gets out of bounds as well. And there we go. 52 to 10 is the final, will be the final score. Okay, so we've got the follow-ups to the short week and my time to shine. Let's have a look. Things didn't go exactly according to plan offensively, but we still got the job done and that's all that matters. A win is a win, but we need to be sharper next time we're out there. I think we had a damn good day. It's just we had two unfortunate interceptions. Well, one was an unfortunate interception. The other one was just bad reading by me. And then my time to shine. I've been ready to go all year and I can't explain how much it meant to finally be able to show it out there. Well, I like Aquara, man. He's been so good. Okay, so we are up against the 9-2 and two New York Jets. I wasn't expecting them to be as good as they are, really. Let's have a look at the playoff picture at the moment. Number one in the AFC versus number one in the NFC. This is the one that we have the potential to slip up on. This is the first time we played a really decent team. Let's get into week 13 against the Jets. Because a few of those runs, it was apparent he was just not going to be denied. And his team is hoping T.Y. Hilton gets the grab as well, starts the game with a 24-yard catch. Go back to the ground again. This one looks like we've actually got some uh, some players ready to block. That's another five. Third and inches. Okay. Give the ball to Swift. Short. And we get the first down. It's a good start to this game. Shit. There we go, we get our bounds. 16 yards on the ground for Brown. I almost got sacked. I mean, it looks like this should be open. We'll give it to Hawkinson. His first catch since coming back. Gets eight yards down to the six yard line. We'll give it to Swift up the middle, and there he goes in for a touchdown to start this game. We take the lead. His tenth touchdown of the season. We're going to come out in our usual formation and cover three look and is back that's good On first down, gotcha, bitch. There we go we get to the quarterback it's Aquara and uh, Onwu Zurike who gets there 3rd and 12 is where we want him to be let's see if we can there we go Romeo Aquara gets there let's go Swift boom that's what we want to see. Good run. 5 for 28 to start this game. That wasn't the look we wanted, so... We'll go back to the ground. Straight up the middle. And get the first down. Jesus, Swift just got laid out. Who was that? 54. Is that Mosley? Now that we've got Hawkinson back, this play looks very nice. No! Who was that? It is game of the year. This could be. This could definitely show us the, who our opponent is in the Super Bowl. But it does also depend on what goes on in this game. Okay. Back to the ground with Swift. If we can get some. There we go. Swift breaks outside. That may be his biggest run of the season. They keep going on about our bye week next week. So we don't care about the bye week. We're just going to have. A good, we just need a good week this week. A swift 
on the draw up to 68 yards now no ah, Dante Hightower has been everywhere That was close. Thank you, uh, Pene Sur. Jesus. This Jets defense is. Uh, it's no joke. Shit! That was close. Ah. Oh. Okay, well we hadn't they hadn't had a first down up until now. There we go, we get another sack, it's hand. Back in the backfield after getting injured last week that kept him out of that game. Oh good hits. Okay, third and fifteen. This is a big play. Why would they run the ball there? Nearly worked, mind you, but like, why? Gilby's beat his man. And there we go. And already it's a better drive than what we've had the last three or four. See if we can just get a few more yards. And Gilby with the catch. And the kick is up and good. So another heavy set from the Jets. They run. They've run this quite a lot. <laughs> oh, as if. So one thing that I hate about this game is the players coming back. That doesn't always happen. Go. Walker makes the hit and they may attempt a field goal here we're almost oh we blocked it it's our first block of the season and Tracy Walker should return this back for a touchdown there we go our first block of the season results in a touchdown for our defence this was the game that could have tripped us up number one seed against number one seed but right now doesn't look like it's happened, but much is uh, changing in terms of how we're playing. What? That's a joke. I know it's what people on Ultimate Team do, but I wouldn't expect a quarterback to be doing it on, on franchise mode as an AI controlled quarterback. There's another sack. Who's that? Aquara again. Oh no, it's on Ruzurike again. Okay. There we go. And there we go. 17 to 3 as we head towards the end of the third quarter. Swift again. Yes. Another big run. 16 yards on that one. Okay, another massive run. Swift, 12 rushes for 96 yards. Gilby should be in for the touchdown. There we go. The play action just catching everybody off guard. Gilby sprints to the back of the end zone to make the catch okay Let's keep this oh Will Harris picks it off and returns it for a touchdown well it gets there for another sack Good hit from Walker there. Can we pick up 
Oh, can we stop them once again? Franklin makes the tackle on Moore, but they do convert. Good hit from Walker again. Oh, user luck. Hands are loaded. Oh, has, <laughs> has a quarterback blocking an offensive tackle, but <laughs> I guess we uh, look to, well, extend this lead. No, no! What joke! Nope. Fuck. Nope. Terrible, terrible defending. Kaepernick now on first down. He'll find Hines out of the backfield. And he's going to get this I need to put somebody in man on, on Hines, I think. He's also looking forward now because now these plays are really for next week. There we go. They're running the screen again. No. Oh, incomplete. It looks like we're going to be getting out of here with a 31 to 3 win, which is ridiculous considering how we started this game. That's how bad that game was. We didn't even get 15 first downs. Okay, so that is it for this episode of Rebuilding the Detroit Lions. We go on to 13 and 0, which is ridiculous to think that that's what's happening. Um, but yeah, we had a, a tough game against the Jets there, and uh, seemingly very easy game the week before scoring 50 points the week before in week 12 and then what seemed like it was going to be a really close game in week 13 we have a week off now for the bye week and we come back next episode for the cowboys and green bay as always guys thank you for watching if you have any feedback for me please leave in the comment below and if you want to keep up to date with everything i'm doing including more rebuilding the detroit lions then please subscribe and i will see you next time